unfortunately, because of the weather, we have to do it inside. But um, before we uh, start the ceremony, if we could, um, we're just going to do the uh, rendition of the Star Spangled Banner, please. Thank you, everybody. I want to recognize uh, Senator Mike Brady. Thank you, Senator, for being here today. I want to recognize uh, Councilor Large Rita Mendez. Council, thank you for being here today. Uh, school Committee Member from Ward 7, Timothy Sullivan. Thank you for being here today, Tim. And uh, City Councilor um, from Ward 7, well, Shirley Azak. Councilor, thank you for being here today. I also want to thank BCA for coming here and, and filming this today. And we have a lot of uh, city employees that are here. And uh, I see Dave Farrell from Veterans Services. David, thank you for being here. It's an honor and privilege to have you here today. And as always, City Hall is, is always open for uh, any resident, any business owner in the city. Today's a special day, it being Flag Day. So it is an honor. And I, after I read the proclamation, I'm gonna ask any of the elected officials, starting with the Senator, if they'd like to say a few words. But it's my honor to, uh, to do a proclamation today. Whereas 244 years ago, a small band of patriots declared independence, proclaiming and one voice that we are free to determine our own destiny and carry out the work of self-governance. Driven by their unyielding spirit and drawing inspiration from the stars and stripes, a string of 13 colonials later expanded to become a united 50 states. Throughout our history, the American flag has steadfastly served as an emblem of the great experiment in democracy. With hands over hearts, Americans of all backgrounds and beliefs have long saluted old glory and honored its legacy. Our flag persists as a powerful representation of freedom and opportunity. Waving high above Capitol buildings and courthouses, military bases and embassies across the globe and on the distant surfaces of the moon, it calls on each of us to remember our obligation to the Republic for which it stands and to carry forward the unwavering optimism that defines us. The American flag invokes pride in our citizens and hopes in those who come to our shores in search of a brighter tomorrow. In recognition of the ways it has embodied our ideals and sustained our nation, let us pay tribute to the Star Spangled Banner and continue striving to create a more perfect and indivisible union with liberty and justice for all. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, as Mayor of the City of Brockton, do hereby declare today, June 14th, 2021, in the city of Brockton, it's Flag Day, and I truly urge all residents in the city of Champions to join me in celebrating this special day. And again, with that being said, I'm gonna proudly invite my friend and our great state senator, Michael Brady, to the podium. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, thank you for hosting us, and I'm honored to be amongst uh, friends and colleagues from government and our residents who are here today, and it's a great honor to be a part of the United States of America and the city of Brockton to honor Flag Day. So God bless you all, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you, thank you, Senator Brady. I'm gonna ask uh, Councilor Lodge Mendez uh, if you'd like to say some words, Councilor. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor, for the opportunity. This is a great day because as um, someone who was originally born in Brazil, I actually accepted this flag in this country as my nation and my home. So it wasn't by birth, but it was by choice. And I think it just means so much to me as to those who were uh, born in this country. And I'm so glad to have this 
privilege and opportunity and to have this freedom and this opportunity to be here today celebrating this important day that I'm so honored. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. I'm going to ask Councilor Isaac if she'd like to say some words. Hello, everybody. As um, Councilor Mendez, I was also not born in this country, but I have to say this is my favorite flag, and um, it's my honor to celebrate it here in my favorite city. Um, so it's my honor to be here amongst all of you, and um, I, I love this country, and I love this flag. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. I'm going to ask School Committee member Tim Sullivan if he'd come to the podium, please. Tim. Good afternoon, thanks for having me here. I, I would like to say I was born in this country and I'm as proud as can be of this flag. I wouldn't have missed this day for anything. It, I'm surprised more people aren't here. This is the most proudest day of this country. And in my book, that's the best flag of this entire world. Thanks for having me. So I, I think the weather kind of uh, hampered some of our efforts to get more people here next year, right? Right a day next year. Um, but I do want to just take a moment also, uh, as I do uh, at every uh, opportunity I can, if you have not been vaccinated yet, I know it's a personal choice, uh, but please, if you need any information, um, the city, the Board of Health, the schools, uh, the delegation, city council, school committee, we have information. Uh, we have lost uh, 434 residents to COVID. So again. If you need the information or you need the ability to get access to a vaccine, we can do that. We're ready, willing, and able to help you. I'm going to now ask the elected officials to please join me as we, uh, we, we, we hoist the flag. Before we uh, conclude this uh, celebration, I'd like to uh, ask all of us, uh, as we start um, every school committee meeting, every city council, uh, every, uh, every legislative session, if we could please just uh, please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty justice for all. God bless the United States of America, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and our city of champions, the city of Brockton, Massachusetts. Thank you all. Be safe. Be well. Have a good day.